<clears throat> hey guys, it's Becca, and I have food in my mouth. I really could have waited until after I finished chewing. What fun is that? Okay, hello. Welcome to my January favorites. A lot of you are probably going to be like, it's not January, or it's not the end of January, Becca. I'm sorry. Listen, I had finals this week, and I just finished today. Besides all that, I'm excited. I still haven't figured out where I'm going to college yet. When I do figure that out, I'm going to let you guys know. I don't know yet. You guys will be the first to know, though, I promise, besides, like, my friends. Moving on. Today is my January favorites. Honestly, I just didn't have anything else to film because of finals, so please let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section below. Let's discuss my January favorites. Starting off with a classic. It is the Stay Don't Stray Primer. We all know this. We all know I love this. We all know it's the best thing in our world. I got, I'm, I'm in light to medium, if that like helps you. I'm like a snowball, so it's good. I've talked about this a million times, so by now you guys should know this is my favorite, so. See ya! Puppy Chow! Okay, there's a reason I've been loving Puppy Chow recently. So, I'm in a class called AP Environmental Science, and the tests are actually impossible. And I was the first one to take it out of my friends who are all in it. So I like talked to them about it, and I told them like how I thought it was, and like, if I thought it was hard or easy or like what they should mainly focus on studying. So they were like, thank you so much for helping us. We're gonna make a puppy chow. So the bag was this full, but while we were studying for finals, we ate it all. Oh my God, it's insane. It's basically those little pieces of cereal with peanut butter, chocolate, and powdered sugar. Why is it so good? I've been working out recently. Can you tell? Mm. Reading. Throughout the month of January, I've been loving reading, surprisingly. Um, I like reading on my phone. Like, I like getting books on my phone and reading, like, those cheesy books, you know, everyone loves. But now I've been recently, like, buying the actual handheld version because I like it more. The one I'm reading right now is called My Life Next Door or something like that. Yeah, My Life Next Door, and it's so good. Oh, my God, you guys should read it. I recommend it. It's by Huntley Fitzpatrick. So good. And then today I bought two new books. I bought On the Rocks, which is a novel about a girl who basically... Her life falls apart and she puts it back together. <laughs> Cheesy. Um, and then the other one I bought, it's a, actually a part of a, it's a part of a trilogy. And this one, the first book is called The Next Always, book, oh, book one of the In Boonesboro trilogy. So I'm excited, because if I like this one, then I'll go back and get the second and third, and boom, I'm reading. Um, another thing I've been loving is this candle. It's stuck. Oh my God. Oh my lord! It smells, it's like, so it's limoncello candle, scented candle from Bath and Body Works. It smells like, I can't describe it, I'm really bad at favorite videos. I'm, I think it smells like, like lemons and like cellos, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> but it, it smells great, it smells like, it's very fresh, very citrusy. It's great to burn in your room or your bathtub, like what I do. Next thing I've been loving is this DIY scrub I made. It's basically supposed to help you like with cellulite and stretch marks. It's just supposed to like tighten your skin, which is really nice and it feels good just like rubbing it on yourself. It's equal part coffee and equal part coconut oil. And then you add like a tablespoon or two of sugar. If you guys want to see a video on how I made this, just let me know. Um, yeah, so it's coffee grounds, coconut oil, and sugar. And you mix it all together and then you like rub it all over yourself in the bathtub or in the shower. And, and just kind of, it's known for tightening your skin and reducing cellulite and stretch marks. So that's great. So people who are like, have like bigger booties. I can't talk about this. Yeah, this is good for you, I guess. So, I mean, I really like it. I've been seeing results, I think. I really don't know, cause like, who knows, but I like it a lot. So moving on. This purse! As you all know, I got this purse for Christmas along with my Rebecca Minkoff one, which I'm obsessed with too. But this one, I feel like it's just, it's like my everyday purse, because the other one's like really nice, and I feel like if I bring it out and like it, it goes in the ground or something, it'll get dirty, but this one is like, it's my Steve Madden black one, and it just fits everything. It fit my main camera, my main channel camera, and it fit my phone, and my wallet, and my gloves, and my hat, all while I was in New York. I know, right? Believe it or not. So it's amazing, and it's just very sturdy, and it's just, I don't know why I love it so much. I just really do, and I never had like a nice purse like this, so it's really something that I treasure, and I love it, and it's just cute, and I'm really happy with it, so. Next, okay, so for those who don't know, if you don't follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Snapchat, or like Twitter or anything. This has been my best friend this month of January. This is my boot. Basically, I have a stress fracture in my foot because while I was in New York, 
it's so, such an embarrassing story, but I was going to the bathroom, as one does, and I stood up, I guess, a little too fast, and I pulled something in my foot, and then I was like, ouch, that kind of hurts, but I didn't think anything of it. I was like, I'm probably fine. So then I walked on it for like three days, because in New York, you don't drive anywhere. Uh, oh my god. I was walking on it and walking on it, and it just started, it was just really, really hurting me. And when I got, like, I almost cried, it was hurting so bad. Um, I was like, mom, my foot really hurts, and so she took me to the orthopedist, and they were like, haha, you have a stress fracture. And I was like, haha, of course I do, because I stood up from the toilet. So that's what happened. Um, yeah, pretty tough, and I'm in a boot for six weeks. It's already been three, so I'm almost done. And it's annoying, and my foot's feeling better, which is good, but I don't want to re-injure it, so I have to keep it on. But right now it's off, because I'm sitting down. So the second to last thing I'm talking about is this shirt, hoodie, something. It's amazing, is what it is. It's from Target, and it's just this big, fuzzy, soft shirt. And oh my god, you can find it under the, um, um, like pajama section and it's soft and amazing and I'm not joking when I say when you sleep in this you feel like you're sleeping on a cloud and everyone should go buy this I'm not joking I'm not kidding you it's like $17 it's really not bad because it like lasts really long and it stays soft it's not like one of those things where you wash it, it doesn't stay soft it does so highly recommend it now the last thing I'm gonna talk about is this nail polish I don't know if you guys know but I wrote a blog post on this so I'll link it down below. But basically this company reached out to me called Madam Glam and they asked me if they could send me some polishes because they know like I have a YouTube channel and everything. And I was like, sure, sure, like why not? I'm not being sponsored, they're not paying me to talk about them, I'm just letting you know. I wouldn't talk about them unless I really like them. And I'm not joking you guys, these polishes, oh my god, they're all vegan companies. So like just starting off with that, like that's amazing. So I was a little like lenient, I was like, okay, like they're probably not gonna be good, like I'm a little worried, but they lasted on my nails for two weeks straight, and I didn't even put a top coat on. Like, two weeks, guys. I'm very impressed with these polishes and the company itself and the bottle shape and just everything about them is very good, so I definitely recommend checking them out. That's all my favorites for February. It's not even February, what am I saying? That's all my favorites for January. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. I post new videos here every Saturday. You should subscribe, click the little subscribe button, become a fortune cookie, Join the ACCEB 111 family. We want you here. Make sure to leave comments down below on what you guys want me to do slash make videos about. And I will see you guys next Saturday. See ya!